FIFA imperialism, but it's only the greatest icons of all time. And they're going to be competing in one versus one matches to figure out who's the actual GOAT. This map has all of our icons, plus Messi and Ronaldo because they're almost icons anyway. This wheel decides who goes next, and this arrow decides which way they attack. And because the wheel picked Messi and the arrow pointed left, Messi is going to attack Pele for our very first match. Pele versus Messi. It doesn't get much bigger than this. And Messi would open the scoring with perhaps the greatest goal I've ever seen. <laughs> What? What was that? Pele did his best to try and score, but he couldn't get past Emi Martinez. And then with only one minute left to go, Messi made Pele pay. Surely Messi scores. Yes, he does. Messi with the backflip. Messi with the goal. And sure enough, those two goals were enough for Messi to win. And he successfully eliminates Pele and takes the first bit of land of FIFA Imperialism Icon Edition. This is what the map looks like now. And Messi is one step closer to winning the Super Ballon d'Or. That's because because the president of FIFA has told me to do this imperialism so we can find the best player of all time. Whoever wins, I will give him the Super Ballon d'Or and make him the official GOAT. But first, we have to spin the wheel and it looks like Ronaldo is going next and he's going to be attacking Northeast. And Ronaldo is going to be taking on Hullet. I thought Ronaldo would easily win this game, but it would actually be Hullet who would take the lead. Oh my god, did you see the power behind that shot? However, in the second half, Ronaldo would show the world why he's one of the best players of all time by scoring two goals to take the lead and get the win. Ronaldo defeats Hullet and he takes his land on the map. There it is. Was there ever any doubt? But now look at this. Ronaldo and Messi are right next to each other and they could face off at any minute. Coming up, we're gonna see some crazy matches like Ronaldo versus Messi. But first, we have to spin the wheel and see who goes next. All right, who is going next? Ooh, Johan Cruyff steps up next. Okay. And the arrow is pointing to the right, which means we have another big matchup, Cruyff versus Eusebio. And Eusebio wouldn't waste any time instantly running at Cruyff's goalkeeper. Oh, Cruyff. Oh, no. What is the keeper doing? What is the keeper doing? Cruyff's keeper is selling him right now, and Eusebio takes the lead. But there was no way that Cruyff was going to lose to a goalkeeper mistake, and he took matters into his own hands. Johan? Johan for the lead. Oh, he snipes it. Upper Benjamins. Let's go, Johan. But Cruyff wasn't down there, and he wanted more. Cruyff is in. Cruyff has to finish, and he decides to chip. And he decided to chip it. Oh, it worked. It worked. Oh, my days. The One of the rare times that chipping it actually led to a goal. With only a minute left to go and down by two goals, I thought it was over for Eusebio, but he taught me why you should never doubt an icon. Eusebio. Oh, Eusebio ties it. Eusebio ties it. There it is. Oh, this could be headed to extra time. But Eusebio was looking to finish this before extra time. Four, three, two. Oh my god. Oh, he runs out of time. He ran out of time. If he had one more second, he would have scored that. But since it's tied, we're headed to golden goal where whoever scores first wins. What are you doing, Croy? What the? Oh my god. What is the grandma doing? What is the grandma doing? The grandma sold. The, uh, the grandma sold. Eusebio wins from two goals down. Eusebio makes the comeback and he beats Johan Cruyff. Who would have thought? And just like that, Johan Cruyff gets eliminated and Eusebio takes all of his land. Already, we've lost some huge icons like Pele, Cruyff, and Hullet, but we still have Messi on the board. We still have Ronaldo on the board. We have R9, Ronaldinho, Zidane, Thierry Henry, and much, much more. And put your seatbelts on because the wheel is giving us another Ballon d'Or winner to go next. Kaka, okay. And since the arrow is telling Kaka to go top right, it looks like we're going to get a battle of the Brazilians. Kaka versus Ronaldinho. And to everyone's surprise, it would actually be Kaka who would take the lead against Dinho. Kaka, oh my god, why'd you chip it? Oh, Kaka, he did it. It worked. It was all part of the plan. Kaka takes a 1-0 lead against Ronaldinho. I think Dinho felt disrespected by Kaka because if you look at the time, there's only about a minute left in the first half, but that was enough for Dinho to score not one, not two, but three goals to take a two-goal lead up on Kaka all before the first half ended. Kaka tried to fight back, but it wasn't enough as Dinho ran up the score to 10-7 to finally win the game. Ronaldinho takes the win and eliminates his fellow Brazilian, Ricardo Kaká. And just like that, Dinho takes all of Kaká's land. 
This is what the map looks like right now, but get ready for some big changes as we have another goat going next. Ooh, CR7 is going again. And based on which way the arrow is pointing, it looks like we're gonna get a showdown between Cristiano Ronaldo and Ronaldinho. Oh, this is getting interesting. We were in for an all-time great match as both Ronaldo and Ronaldinho went back and forth, but they simply couldn't find a way to score. But Ronaldo, he's in. Oh, he has a goal. What a save from Ter Stegen. But then in the second half, Ronaldo would catch Ter Stegen sleeping and finally take the lead. And Ronaldo, Ronaldo, just runs on through where was Dinio what what just happened and from there it was over for Dinio as Ronaldo would score four more goals and not let Dinio even score one Ronaldo you deserve this one you deserve this one Ronaldo that was an absolutely amazing performance and with that win Ronaldo doubles his territory by taking all of Dinio's land Cristiano Ronaldo by far has the most land Messi's right behind him Eusebio has some land too but other than that, it's the Ronaldo show. Right now, CR7 is by far the favorite to win the Super Ballon d'Or and become the official GOAT, but Jarzinho is going to be going next, and he's traveling right to fight his fellow Brazilian R9. We got ourselves a big match, another big match. I fully expected R9 to easily win this game, but that's not exactly how this match would start. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, Jarzinho! Jarzinho takes the lead! Who would have thought that R9 would be losing? And what's even more surprising is that when R9 did get his chances, he would completely mess them up. R9, oh, he's in. Oh, surely he scores this. Surely, no, R9. Unfortunately for R9, Jarzinho was far more clinical and he made sure to score his chances to secure the win. Okay, Jarzinho. Jorginho, that's how you shoot it. That is how you shoot and that is how you finish it. He's showing him how it's done. 40 seconds. No, no, no. Jarzinho, Jarzinho. Yo, okay. If Jarzinho wins, it has to be because of his defense. His tackling has been insane this game. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Adding insult to injury. That is pathetic from R9's keeper, man. And with a three-goal lead, that's all she wrote. R9 has been eliminated by Jarzinho. And just like that, Jarzinho completes one of the biggest upsets of imperialism so far by eliminating and taking all of R9's land. Ronaldo and Messi are taking up most of the line in the middle, but we still got some big icons hovering right around him. Speaking of Ronaldo and Messi, Messi's gonna be going again, and this time he's attacking top left, which means he's taking on his former teammate, Thierry Henry. Okay. All right, Thierry Henry versus Lionel Messi, and Henry looks like he's gonna take the early lead but he decides to chip it. Why would you chip that Henri? Thierry Henry would go on to mess up another chance, but this time Messi would be able to get the counter attack. Okay, Messi, Messi, Messi. Show him why you're the GOAT. Show him why you're the GOAT, Lionel Messi. Come on, power shot. This man is insane. That's why he's the GOAT. Wait, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, I thought he was about to escape the cage. And from then on out, Messi would go on to score goal after goal to successfully take the 8-6 victory over Thierry Henry. And there we have it. Lionel Messi beats Thierry Henry and takes all of his land. I mean, I'm trying to stay neutral, but I just love Messi too much. Come on. And with that win, Messi expands his territory once again. But for now, Ronaldo is still in the lead. And next, we would finally see a new face as Sir Bobby Charlton would go northwest to face off against Jerd Muller. All right, there we have it. We're taking it back to the 70s or 60s at Muller. It looks like Germany's winning this war because he takes the lead. Muller may have gotten the early lead, but Bobby Charlton's a World Cup and Ballon d'Or winner. There was no way he was giving up without a fight. Five seconds. Can Sir Bobby Charlton beat the buzzer? Three, two, one. Yes, he can. He takes a two-goal lead over Muller. And from then on out, Sir Bobby Charlton took it to the next level. Adding insult to injury. That's adding insult to injury. He's rubbing salt in the wounds. Sir Bobby Charlton, what a player. That is all. Sir Bobby Charlton defeats Jerd Muller quite easily. Three goals. And he takes all of his land. And with Jared Muller being eliminated by Sir Bobby Charlton, this is what our map looks like right now. It's going to be crazy to see who eventually wins everything and officially becomes the GOAT. But first, we have some more Brazilian action. We have a battle of two absolute legends. Garincha is taking on Puskas. And Garincha came into this match firing as he wasted no time getting a two-goal lead against Puskas. Oh my god, Garincha. Oh, Garincha, he's making it too. He's making it too. Oh, this is not looking good for Puskas. But don't count out Puskas just yet because to my surprise, he actually ended up tying the game just minutes later. 
Oh my god. Oh my goodness. It's tied. We have a tie game. What a comeback from Puskas. But the celebrations wouldn't last long as Garincha would go out and get another two goal lead. Bank. Oh my goodness. What a game. This is probably the best game we've had so far. I thought it was over, but I kid you not, Puskas would go out and score two more goals to tie it once again and send this game to golden goal with only 30 seconds left. Oh my goodness, that strength to hold off Garincha. And now he's gone. Come on. Are you going to make the comeback again? And he makes the comeback again. We are tied once again. What is this game? And let me just tell you, when you come back that many times in a game, there's nothing that can stop you from getting the win. He cuts inside and he bangs it in. Puskas with the comeback. Not once, not twice, but three comebacks for Puskas and he defeats Garincha. By far the best match we've seen yet. That was amazing. And just like that, another Brazilian gets eliminated from FIFA Imperialism. Honestly, respect to Puskas for not giving up, and he takes Grinch's land. And Puskas wouldn't even get a chance to catch his breath because the wheel and arrow would pick Messi to attack Puskas, meaning that Puskas now has to face off against Lionel Messi. Oh, there it is. Messi turns it. Messi's gone. Messi, Messi, Messi! That's why he's the GOAT! Messi and Puskas would then go back and forth, both scoring goals, with Messi taking a two-goal lead with about a minute left to go. But can Puskas make a comeback like he did against Garincha? The goalkeeper's out. Messi steals it. Messi, Messi, Messi on the volley! It's a two-goal game once again. And it was looking like Puskas might be able to do it again. Oh my god, Puskas, Puskas! Puskas steals it with 23 seconds to go. Can he make the comeback? However, he would sadly run out of time and wouldn't be able to beat Lionel Messi. And that is all she wrote. Puskas couldn't complete the comeback like he did in the last match. And Messi takes it, earning himself two more territories. Messi now by far has the most territory in FIFA Imperialism. Ronaldo right behind him. And then Bobby Charlton, Eusebio, and Zarzinho each have two territories each. This is honestly anybody's game. And next, the wheel's gonna keep things going with another huge player going next. CR7, why, why do Messi and Ronaldo keep coming up? But once again, the arrow would rob us of a chance to see Messi versus Ronaldo. No, we're not getting Messi versus Ronaldo. We're getting Ronaldo versus Fernando Torres. But it would still be an amazing game as Fernando Torres would take the lead against Ronaldo. Oh, Courtois, what are you doing? Oh no, what's Courtois doing? What's Courtois doing? Courtois, you're selling Ronaldo. But come on, guys. This is Cristiano Ronaldo. Do we really think he's going to lose to Fernando Torres? Use your pace. Use your pace. Have a go. What a finish. Ronaldo takes the lead from Fernando Torres. Oh, my days. We're going to have ourselves a match at our hands, man. However, it's not over as Fernando Torres would get one more chance to tie it before the first half ended. Three, two, what are you doing? You could have went into the second half at a tie, but he decided to be fancy. That turned out to be a huge mistake for Fernando Torres because I think Ronaldo was mad that Fernando Torres took him so lightly and he went all out demolishing Fernando Torres in the second half. Oh, what? RKO, Ronaldo hit Fernando Torres with an RKO out of nowhere. Oh my God, oh my God, what? Ronaldo just RKO'd Fernando Torres. And there we go. Ronaldo beats Fernando Torres by four goals and takes his land. This is probably the most fun game I've seen yet. And the fun's gonna continue as Zinedine Zidane would go next and have his first match against the King of Ivory Coast. Zizou is gonna face off against Didier Drogba. And even though Zidane's one of the highest rated players in the game, it would actually be Drogba who would take the lead. Are we gonna see another upset? Drogba's different. Drogba's actually different. Don't doubt it. We actually might see Zidane lose because he kept on missing his chances, but on the other side of the pitch, Drogba was clinical. Four seconds. Three, two, one. Bang! He beats the buzzer with one second left, and Drogba takes a 3 0 lead to go into the second half. Wow. Zidane wouldn't give up though, and he managed to get one goal back, but it wasn't enough, and Didier Drogba took out the French legend. And there it is. Drogba is officially the legend killer. He just put down Zidane. That is crazy. And after that match, we're now down to our last 14 players, officially halfway there. Big ups Drogba, man. He took it on a legend like Zidane. That's not easy. It's also not easy winning the Super Ballon d'Or, but one of these 
players will win it. But first, we got to spin the wheel. And it looks like Andrea Pirlo is going to make his first appearance. And he's going to be fighting Samuel Eto. Two of the biggest icons I've ever played in Italy. Come on. Let's see who's got this. And it definitely wasn't Pirlo who got this because Samuel Eto'o would go on to score four goals to take a huge lead against Pirlo. No, no, Chesney. Chesney, why are you like this? Why are you the way that you are, Chesney? If I was Pirlo, I would probably beat you up. And mostly because of his goalkeeper, Pirlo would lose that game. But hey, it's FIFA imperialism. Anything can happen. Your goalie actually sold you. That goalie was horrible. And with Pirlo out of the way, Samuel Eto is free to expand and he takes a majority of the south side of the map. He could be a serious player in FIFA Imperialism. And that's exactly what Samuel Eto intends to be because he would go again and this time the arrow is pointing him north, which means he's going to be taking on the Brazilian icon, Zico. You know, Pirlo was too easy for Eto and now he wants a real challenge. And this time it wasn't going to be as easy because even though Samuel Eto took the early lead, just moments later, Zico would equalize. Oh, Zico! Zico! He steals it off the goalkeeper and he ties the game. This is looking like the game where the goalkeeper just mess everything up. It might be that game. Now that the game was tied, it was the perfect chance for Zico to take the lead, but he messed up his chance and Samuel Eto would make him pay by taking a two goal lead. Are we going to get the Eto special? That's the Eto special, bro. That is the Eto special. He just loves, loves to abuse a goalkeeper, man. However, don't count out Zico just yet because he would get one goal back and would get the perfect chance to tie the game but unfortunately, he would run out of time and lose. Oh, Zico, you have to shoot. You have to shoot. Zico, shoot. No, Zico can't get the shot off and he runs out of time, meaning Eto takes another victory. But Stevie G would hear about how Eto was abusing all the goalkeepers to win the games and he had enough of this and he would decide to go next and attack Samuel Eto to put a stop to his reign. It looks like Stevie G is going to be taking on Samuel Eto, which means Samuel Eto is going to be playing his third game in a row. And instantly, Stevie G would give Eto a taste of his own medicine by stealing it from his goalkeeper and scoring a banger. Oh my god, what is this? Jan Sommer! He just passed it right to Gerard. I don't know if Eto was just tired from playing so many games in a row or if Stevie G is just that guy, but Samuel Eto had no answer for the Englishman as Stevie G got the decisive victory. Because Stevie G put it to bed. Because Stevie G put it to bed. Yes, he can. I'm sorry, Samuel Eto, but it's over. It was an amazing run. It was a wonderful run. But Samuel Eto finally gets defeated, and it's no other than Stevie G to put him out. I would expect there to be a lot more Brazilians still left on the map, but... You know, that's just the way it goes sometimes. And with Gerard getting settled into his new land, it looks like Ronaldo's gonna be going next, and this time he's attacking Gerard right away to try and take away his new earnings. Whoever wins this match will have the most land in FIFA Imperialism by far. Cristiano Ronaldo versus Stevie G. I mean, Stevie G did eliminate Samuel Eto, but this is Ronaldo, man. Like, realistically, no chance for the, for the Englishman. And I was low-key right because when Ronaldo sets his mind to something, it's almost impossible to stop him and Ronaldo would utterly demolish DVG, not letting him score even a single goal. Ronaldo! And he makes it four! No mercy! He hasn't let DVG score even a single goal! And with that win, Ronaldo is now leading FIFA Imperialism because he has the most land out of everyone so far. Ronaldo's winning the Super Ballon d'Or. If it stops right now, Ronaldo's winning the Super Ballon d'Or. This is what the map is looking like right now and next we're gonna have a three-way speed round where Drogba is gonna have to attack Frank Ribery, Sir Bobby Charlton is gonna have to attack Jorginho and Luis Figo is gonna have to attack Eusebio. First up Eusebio would teach Luis Figo a lesson in respecting his elders and easily get the win while Frank Ribery would get revenge for his French teammate Zinedine Zidane and defeat Didier Drogba and then finally Sir Bobby Charlton would suffer the wrath of Jorginho and lose his territory to the Brazilian. All right we are now down to the final eight. We have Jorginho, Ribery, Eusebio, Rooney, Beckham, and of course, Messi and Ronaldo. And it looks like Cristiano Ronaldo is stepping up once again. All right, Ronaldo is going to take on Jorginho. Jorginho did well to make it this far, but beating Ronaldo is not going to be easy. However, Jorginho wasn't messing around and he took it to Ronaldo, getting an early lead. What? Jorginho! Jorginho steals it and puts one past Ronaldo. And from there, things only got worse for Ronaldo. Three, two, 
One power shot and he beats the buzzer, taking a two goal lead on Ronaldo. With less than a minute left to go, I thought Jozinho had already won, but then I remembered one thing I've learned is that you should never ever doubt Ronaldo. Keep it going, what a hit! He absolutely sniped it. This boy has a rocket in his boot. 2 1. Oh no, 9, 8. Ronaldo, you have to rush the keeper. Ronaldo, Ronaldo, Ronaldo. He ties it with three seconds left. Cristiano Ronaldo sends it to golden goal. And with all the work that Ronaldo put in to make it this far, there was no doubt in my mind that he was gonna win this. Can Ronaldo win it? Yes, he can. All the composure from Cristiano Ronaldo and he's dancing on him. He's emoting on him. Ronaldo takes it in golden goal and eliminates Jorginho and expands his territory. Next, the wheel would pick Wayne Rooney to have his very first turn and the arrow is sending him north. And Wayne Rooney and Messi are gonna face off. All right, here we have it, Lionel Messi versus Wayne Rooney. I was really excited for this match because I love Messi and I really like Rooney too, but unfortunately it wasn't even a match because Messi walked Rooney like a dog and scored five goals to demolish his hopes and eliminate him from FIFA imperialism. There it is, there it is. There is no chance for any comeback. Lionel Messi makes sure of it. Messi takes the little bit of territory that Wayne Rooney has. And now, things are getting interesting. Messi is going to go next and he has to get through Eusebio if he ever wants to play Ronaldo. As Messi versus Eusebio kicked off, it was quickly obvious that there was only going to be one winner. He's cutting inside and he smashes it in the bottom corner. A beautiful goal. Messi, you are different, man. After scoring a total of four goals and not letting Eusebio score even one, Messi swiftly wrapped up his match against the Portuguese icon. 48 seconds and Messi snipes it in the top corner to make it a four goal lead. After that win, Messi successfully defeats Eusebio and takes his territory, which means we're down to our last four players. And the wheel would pick Frank Ribery to go next and it doesn't matter which way the arrow spins because there's only one man he can face and that man is Lionel Messi. Let's face it, at this stage of the competition, there's only one man that's worthy to face off against Lionel Messi and his name is Chris Cristiano Ronaldo and Frank Ribery really didn't stand a chance and Messi easily defeated him and took all of his land. There we go, Leo Messi knocks off Frank Ribery and now he controls the whole north side of the map. It's pretty even between Ronaldo and Messi, but I still think Ronaldo has more land. But we can't forget about David Beckham as he would finally get a chance to play, but unfortunately for him, he's gonna face off against Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo versus David Beckham. They both played for Real Madrid and they both played for Manchester United, both legends but only one can advance to the final. And Ronaldo must be tired from playing so many games because David Beckham would take the early lead. Tight angle, and he blasts it top bins. Ronaldo's actually losing. Ronaldo would eventually be able to tie the game, but then just moments later, David Beckham would take the lead once again. Oh, Ronaldo, he got sent to the shops. Ronaldo, 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 pick up your underwear. You left it on the ground. That's crazy. That is crazy. My man got sent to the shops there. And with less than a minute left to go, it wasn't looking good for Ronaldo, but then he remembered that Messi's waiting for him in the final, and there was no way that he was gonna lose without facing Messi. Oh, Ronaldo! He intercepts it with 53 seconds left, and he ties the game. And with the game tied, I remembered what I learned earlier in this video. Never doubt Ronaldo. Oh no, he recovered Ronaldo with 10 seconds left. Did he just book a ticket to the final? Cristiano Ronaldo, you've done it again. Three, two, one. I can't believe it. He's done it. We're going to see a Messi versus Ronaldo final. And as Ronaldo takes David Beckham's land, we are down to our last two players of FIFA Imperialism Icon Edition. But before we head into the last game, if you made it this far, please hit the subscribe button because we're trying to get to 1 million subscribers. Thank you. Here we go. Here we go. Messi versus Ronaldo for the Super Ballon d'Or for the GOAT title to become the greatest of all time. It all comes down to this. This match was super close and with only 15 seconds to go in the first half, Messi would get a huge chance. Messi, can you take the lead? Messi, what a horrible shot. What are you doing? Ronaldo comes the other way. Five seconds. He has to shoot this. Three, two, one. Ronaldo beats the buzzer with one second left. 
He takes a lead. Messi would keep on getting chances, but Courtois was looking impossible to beat. Messi, it's your time. It's your time. Bang that. Messi. Messi. Oh my God. What is going on? But even though he was struggling, Messi still proved to be magical. Messi to tie the game. Yes. There we go. Messi ties it. We got ourselves the game. What's going to happen here? Messi. 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 Messi's honing in. Messi. Messi steals it from the goalkeeper. Messi takes the lead. What a turn of events. And with less than a minute left to go, Messi had the lead and time was running out for Ronaldo, but there was no way that he was going out without a fight. Oh my God, Ronaldo. This is it. This is your chance, Ronaldo, to tie the game. Right here, right now. Ronaldo ties it. 5-5. Five, five. Oh my God, we might be headed to a golden goal. This was already proving to be one of the greatest matches of all time. And with less than 10 seconds left to go, there was just enough time for a little bit of magic. Messi, 15 seconds, 13 seconds, 12, 11. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Can we get a buzzer beater? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, Messi! Yes, he's done it. He's beaten the buzzer in the last five seconds. Messi has solidified himself as the GOAT. He has written history. He's done it. Surely, surely, surely. Yes, Messi, Messi, Messi. And there we have it. Messi is the winner of FIFA Imperialism Icon Edition. That's not all because Messi also wins the Super Ballon d'Or and is now officially the GOAT. It's like the only thing that Messi is the goat of is these nuts. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that subscribe button and watch this video down below next. Thank you.